Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Elden Ring and is it actually worth the hype? So I have to admit guys, I was an unbeliever. So I'm always into MMOs and FPSs. I have zero Dark Souls background. I have zero Sekiro background. I have zero For Honor background. But when I saw the gameplay to this game, it honestly piqued my interest. And if this trailer and the gameplay we are going to go over in this video can make me a believer, I believe I can make the elitists out there also a believer. So without further ado guys, let's get into today's video right now. Okay guys, so before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my YouTube community members. Thank you so much for supporting me and the channel. I honestly couldn't be doing this without you, so thank you very much. Also, all the gameplay you guys are seeing here in the background are provided by four different sources, all of which their links are down in the description. I haven't had a chance to play the game, hopefully I get to this weekend during the open beta test or whatever they want to call it so we can further go in depth on Elden Ring and how the game is going to progress and whether this is going to be a game you want to pursue come February. Okay so we are going to break down this video into sections first of which is going to be the overall summary of the game. Next we're going to discuss the weapon skills and also the five playable classes that will be available in Elden Ring. Next we will talk about the co-op modes and what and all that entails. Next, we will be talking about some of the PvP gameplay. Now, the PvP gameplay was much harder to find where this was a very exclusive event, and hopefully we get to experience more and more as the game progresses and comes out and more content creators are hopping on to Elden Ring. And then lastly, we'll just toss in a conclusion to whether or not you should actually buy and play this game, even if you're not familiar with the ARPG genre. Okay, so what is Elden Ring? Elden Ring is an action role-playing game played in third-person perspective with featuring elements similar to that found in its predecessors such as Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice with gameplay focusing on combat and exploration. So let's talk a little bit about the weapon skills as well as some of the classes offered in Elden Ring. Now this is pretty much copy and pasted from Dark Souls when it comes to the weapon affinities on how you can upgrade them. So what I'm seeing here is that you can take your weapons, you can add, again, affinities like Holy, Lightning, and really spec out your build the way you want to. Now, this does carry over to Elden Ring from what I'm told. I think you have to use what's called Ashes of Wake or Waking Ash or something of that nature to further augment your weapons. And this is really cool, especially coming from an MMO background. When I look at games like this, like ARPGs, I do not expect a lot of build variety to how you can play your character. But from what I'm seeing, there is a lot of variety out there which really does pique my interest plus some of the combat is bar none looks amazing okay so let's discuss the five classes offered in Elden Ring now this is only speculation I have no clue how these classes are played because there's quite frankly no footage out there so this is only speculation again but we have the warrior this looks like a melee DPS class a well-rounded class I would imagine next we have the enchanted knight this looks like a battle mage or your ranged DPS as you would call it, magic user. It kind of looks like a hybrid. Next we have the Prophet. I would imagine this is a healing class or holy or whatever the Dark Souls and security equivalent is. Um, seems very squishy, but it seems to offer a lot of group utility as well. Next we have the Champion. This kind of looks like a barbarian class, light armor. So I can imagine this guy hitting really hard, but also taking hits really hard. The so lastly we have Bloody Wolf. This looks like a tank spec. Coming from an MMO background, this is kind of the trifecta you expect to have in a game that's going to have a lot of build variety and team composition. So you always have your DPS characters, your healers, and you'll have your tank. And from what I can tell, this has everything. Okay, so we made it to the co-op section. So the background footage is provided by Eric's Gaming, which is provided to him by Roracon. It's very hard to get in playtest, the PvP, and the co-op. So kudos to these guys for being able to do so. Now, the co-op in this game is pretty cool. Not only can you summon people to help you complete quests, because this is kind of an open world environment, right? I'm not sure of the cap on the party size, but based on the gameplay background, it's only two as of right now. I'm, I would imagine this would go higher with what Elden Ring calls invasion. Now, I could not find any invasion gameplay or PvP gameplay thereof, but it seems really cool. So one thing I'm really looking forward to is the dungeon content or raid content for in-game. Now, co-op is fun, don't get me wrong, 
but I would love to have some build composition running healers, clerics, tanks, DPS to really get into a variety for the team you decide to bring into these dungeons and raids. It's hard telling how high or how low the skill cap will be when this game releases, but it's definitely something to look forward to nonetheless. Okay, so we made it to my favorite section, the PvP section. Now, I am an elitist in any MMO. I absolutely min-max my builds to a T in MMOs like World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online. I'm also very competitive when it comes to first-person shooters and gaming, so of course I'm going to be peaked with PvP content. Now, from what I can tell, it's just like Dark Souls. It's like a 1v1 type of thing to where you can invade others scenarios and also have them invade yours so I will have some gameplay footage here in the background of kind of how these sparring and duels go on I am a big fan of 1v1s but what I would really like to see and I really hope is already in the game of Elden Ring is more vast PvP content not just 1v1s I want to see 2v2s 3v3s 4v4s which I think are included in their teaser with quote unquote invasion again I'm not sure exactly what that means for PvP but I really really hope there's some sort of open world arena environment to where you can invite your friends and just have a great 4v4 open world battle that would be absolutely amazing and not only will it be cool to have in a Dark Souls variant or, or an ARPG type of genre but this is also going to pull you MMO fanboys out there such as myself into the game to experiment with new builds team composition and honestly, I can't wait. I really hope we learn more over the weekend once the tests come out and pe more people are able to play Elden Ring. I, myself, hope I am one of those people, but if I'm not, I'm not gonna be too far hurt. Okay guys, so thank you for making it to the end. So, does Elden Ring deserve all the hype? Is it a game worth investing your time into? I would say yes. Of course, you'll have to decide that for yourself. So, not only is this an ARPG, but it pulls MMO elements into the game as well. So you have your class variations, you have the different skill builds and skill sets that you can completely customize your character from the ground up. You have co-op which you can invite your friends to clear missions with you. You can do dungeon content. I'm really looking forward to the team compositions and the raid content for end game. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to play around with with you and your friends. And lastly, my favorite portion of the game is the PvP. Even if it just results in a 1v1 type of style, I really like the introduction of the different classes and skill builds the way you can really spec out your character to the way you want i do hope that this does evolve into like a 2v2 3v3 4v4 type of gameplay to where you can invite your friends or join other servers and i really hope that there's a lot of incentive for doing so the environment looks amazing the boss fights look super epic and stunning especially on 4k it's pretty amazing the kinematics hold true and probably what i'm most looking forward to is the open world environment so a big turn off of the dark souls type of genre is that it's very linear and you can't really veer off the designated path you can do what you want in elden ring it seems like you can and it's actually encouraged to do so so i'm looking forward to uncover all kinds of secrets and hidden quests and adventures and fully be immersed into elden ring thank you guys please let me know down in the comments whether i did a decent job covering this from a noob's perspective if I didn't, please also let me know in the comments and how I can improve going forward. Do not forget to eviscerate the like and subscribe button, and I will catch you fine sausages in the next one. Peace.